Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is A Girl Like Me with Chloe M, and I am Chloe M. So today's video is a curve building, booty building workout um, with some of my favorite exercises. Um, some of these you can do without weights, you can do without any equipment. Some of these you need to have like bands or kettlebells. I show you in the video how to kind of use some household items or things you might have laying around your house um, to substitute for weights. So um, these are workouts that I do often and I really, really like um, and have kind of helped me get my figure where it's at. I'm still growing in my own, you know, fitness journey. I'm by any means not a professional, um, but I do like to work out, especially work out my butt. So um, I hope you all enjoy, and if you have any suggestions for future workout videos, please let me know in the comment box down below. Hey guys, I'm trying to work out. You gotta move. <laughs> Welcome to the temporary home gym in our basement. These are a couple things we're going to use today. I'll show you how to use some household items too. Here comes my favorite part, the warm up. Grab an elastic band and we're going to start with clamshells. Clamshells make sure that your feet are stacked and you're really squeezing your glutes when you lift your knee towards the air. Make sure you do both sides. I'll show you the back view here. Really important to kind of keep your feet stacked and squeeze your glutes. Next up is banded hip thrusts. Make sure that your hands are planted firmly. You're driving through the heels and you really squeeze your glutes and tighten your abs at the very top. Next up we have Superman holds. Make sure to squeeze your chin towards your chest. Really tighten your glutes and your arms and your legs and make sure your abs are engaged. Same with the hollow mans after. Um, you'll face up, squeeze your chin towards your chest and hold your abs. Next up, we have our first superset. Our first exercise are gonna be kettlebell deadlifts. I'm using a 50 pound kettlebell. You're gonna do this for four sets of 12. Make sure your back is straight, you have a really broad or wide chest, and make sure you're using your hips as kind of the pivot point. Make sure not to bend your legs. Um, you'll see here that my knees are just slightly bent. Just think of your hips as the lever point and your arms and your back need to be kept straight and your head in a neutral position. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can get creative. Um, here I'm showing you how to use a paint can to do the same exercise. You can use a gallon of milk, a gallon of water, um, a dog, maybe not a child, but there are plenty of things around your house that you can use that are weighted enough to do these deadlifts. Next, we have one of my favorite exercises, sumo squats. So you're gonna bring your legs over shoulder width apart. I keep mine pointed out just slightly. You're gonna wanna keep a straight back, head in a neutral position, and squat. Make sure that your knees do not go over your toes. You'll see here in the side view that my knees do not go over my toes. That's very important. Moving on to our next superset, we have curtsy lunges and banded side steps. Curtsy lunges are one of my favorite workouts. They really work your sides, your abs, your hips, and your glutes. Just make sure here that you are, again, are not letting your knee go in, in front of your toes. 
Do not touch your knee to the ground and try to keep a good posture here. These, if you do them fast enough, can be cardio. You'll see that I kind of wobble here, that's okay. Just make sure your form is good. Next we have banded side steps, three sets for 30 seconds each. These ones are really good at working your hips and your thighs. Um, if you don't have a band, I'll show you some alternatives um, in just a moment. Here you'll see my form, it's really important. Keep straight back, nice posture, neutral head and almost like a semi-squat position. Here are the alternatives to the banded side step. Next we have leg lifts. We're gonna do three sets of 12 for each leg. So with these, it's important to keep that bottom toe pointed, keep that top foot flexed up, and your glutes nice and squeezed at every single time you lift your leg. Next exercise is the hip adduction. You're gonna place your foot in front of your hips. You can kind of pull it towards you a little bit. You're gonna to wanna to flex that bottom foot and then lift towards the sky. This works kind of your inner thighs and kind of glutes as well. If you really want to push yourself for this workout, you can combine both the banded side steps and these two different leg lifts that I showed you here. Um, these really get a nice burn in the hips and the glutes, and I think combined with the side step are a really great workout. Our next superset is donkey kicks, fire hydrants, and single leg glute bridges. For donkey kicks, you want to make sure that the leg you're kicking up, that your foot is flexed, you're ki kicking your heel up towards the ceiling and engaging the glute every time you lift your leg. Make sure you have a good posture and your hands are firmly placed to the floor. Next up, we have fire hydrant lifts. We'll do three sets for 12 for each leg. You're gonna lift up your knee to the side of you. Make sure that your leg and your um, foot are flexed and make sure that you're really squeezing the glute when you hit the top. Here we have a side view of the fire hydrant leg lift, kind of like you're peeing on a fire hydrant. That's why they call it that. So you'll see that um, I'm lifting my knee and my leg up towards the side, towards the ceiling. Last exercise of the set, we have a single leg glute bridge three sets of 12 for each leg. You're gonna wanna start kind of on your bottom and you'll lift your leg up. You'll push your glutes towards the ceiling and engage your abdomen at the same time. Make sure your foot is flexed and your hands are firmly pressed into the ground. Um, and you're gonna engage through the other leg's heel, the ball, kind of the ball of the heel, and push up towards the ceiling and really squeeze your glutes tight. Next up, we have the last superset, what I like to call the booty burnout. So 
This is a glute bridge burnout. You're gonna wanna do as many glute bridges as you can in one minute. So similar to the warm up with the banded glute bridges, you're gonna wanna plant your heels into the ground, press your hands and arms into the ground and kind of hold them like you're trying to spread a towel. And then every time you lift your legs, you're gonna to wanna to squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, and really, once you get to the top, hold. Pause for a moment and squeeze your glutes as tight as possible. Next is glute bridge holds. You're gonna to wanna to hold this position for at least a minute. So you're gonna go up into the formation here. You'll see that there's a nice angle down from knee to chest. My feet are planted. You'll see I went up there to try to squeeze my glutes and activate my glutes a little bit more. You wanna hold your abs in tight here and you'll need to readjust a couple times. So keep trying to keep those glutes up in the air as high as possible. You'll see here that it was getting really, really difficult for me, but Pat wanted me to keep going, so we kept going. Okay, so those were some of my favorite booty building workouts. Um, if you enjoyed that, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to put all of the exercises and the number of reps and sets in the description bar below. You'll also be able to find my social media information. And if you have any suggestions in the future for other workout videos or other videos in general, please leave me a comment. If you found this useful, please go ahead and share this video and there will be more to come. So I will see you all Wednesday night is my YouTube live. We're doing Wednesday night live every week. I will see you then. Bye.